If you guys are having trouble with this thing, of course, I can help you fix that. With one operating system for the Mac, MacBook Pro, and iMacs. Yes, this is your problem? I can fix it. With just three simple steps. Or you would say one, because technically, or two, or technically I would say three. These are those reasons. Is because you know how you have a USB. Yes, this is a eight gigabyte USB, and you wanna have a USB port, and you don't have an SD card slot. But this is a MacBook Pro, so of course it has an SD card slot. But you have a USB with a custom OS on it, then you can fix this problem without having to take it to the Apple Store. And I'll show you how to fix that problem. First, hold down the power button. You'll finally hear a snap and it'll go off. Then next, you need to install this Chrome OS. Or maybe what I say, Remix OS for this USB. But I'll show you how to install that in a video that you can see right up here. And pretty much that is actually the link that you'll be seeing. Or you check in the description down below. So again, that's the video for how to install Remix OS onto your USB drive. But this is a different video showing you how to install Remix OS or Chrome OS or any kind of operating system that you can install into here onto your MacBook Pro with that error. So one, plug it into your USB port. Whoa, 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 what am I doing? Wait, keep your USB out. So I'll put it right here. And next, you want to turn on the power and hold down the option slash alt key. Just hold that down. Right after that, Bing goes off. You'll see this thing come up. Sometimes yours might not have a password. If you do have a password in here, try figuring out your password. It's technically the same that you set up for permissions, parental controls. So just let me enter that in. You always fail the first time, of course. But if you don't have a password, then technically it will automatically go to the screen. You might see hard drive here, but on mine it says elf boot. And you hold down control, you can see it says reboot into that OS. And you do get your little Wi-Fi symbol here. And it shows your Wi-Fi. And whatever that is, but this is mine right here. And you get this dot 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 that takes you to here. That's of course manual upload. Let me just get out of here. This is your normal hard drive that shows the Chrome OS. And I'll show you that first. That it actually does boot Chrome OS through the hard drive. You just have to hold down the control before you open that. And it will automatically boot into this hard drive. Or this is the part where you plug in your USB for Remix OS. Because for some reason the first installation part doesn't work. So you have to always boot it off a of USB drive. So let's plug that bad boy in. You have to wait a few seconds and then this will come up. You can use your arrow keys to switch through both of them. Now just press enter on the USB port. That's the orange one. You'll see this screen here. It'll say resident mode. All your stuff will be saved. That doesn't somewhat work. Guest mode I do recommend because it doesn't save everything and it does work. Vibrant mode I don't recommend. You can press enter. Edit selection so E to edit it. I don't really recommend that. And... C is for grub, press exit, and that's for that. Let's just press guest mode and press enter. Now, you gotta wait for this part. You'll see Android OS right here. Hey guys, you can see me in the background, maybe. And it'll go white, and you'll see this little dialog here. It'll say Android. There's some root remix stuff. And remix OS automatically pops up. So, Remix OS is like a certain OS that runs Android as a desktop. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool OS. It does take some time to boot. It does have some bugs with it. Because, of course, it's an alpha. It usually it's made for Windows, but I somehow got it to work on Mac. Just by uh, installing it randomly. And I'll show you how to do that. Actually, I already told you. Check the link up here. Uh, or in the description. Technically, it's the first video. It'll be down there. I can't provide you the ISO because, of course, it's on their website. And the ISO is technically a file. You put in the USB. 
And if you're on Windows, it's the easiest drop in installation. But there was an installation guide for this, but the problem is I did not find a way to get it to boot because it's going to kernel error if you use the installer for Mac. So what I did is that I extracted the ISO, called Remix OS ISO, and then double click and extract it with the unstract uncarver, the uncarver or whatever you call it. And it gave me all these weird files. And after that file, I will just drag that into the USB that's down there. And then turn off the Mac. Well, first eject the disk, CD, and then, I mean, D a hard drive, USB, whatever. And then turn off the Mac. And then put the USB in at the end of this mode. And then it was just randomly booted. And I'm like, wow, this is the first time I actually got Remix OS booting on here. So if this helps you, this is actually pretty handy. Hey, bear with time because look, it's about to start. Let's see this magic. As you can see up here, it says guest mode. You can barely see that, but as you can see, I'm using my arrow key. You get a mouse here. But let's choose your language. You get divided three languages. Because of course the Chinese product, just press enter in English because of course you all know I'm English. You can scroll like usual through here. This is a regular Android, so you can scroll with your mouse too. We just press agree. If it'll let me. There we go. Now you do get Wi Fi here. Just press that. It'll ask you for your password. You don't always have to go for password, but you get advanced setup here too. This is this plain old Android. You can skip the step right here. I would like to Google Play services. And then you just press next. Set up complete. Remix OS for you guys. Now as you can see it's regular Android. You get your trash here. You get your play activator. You got all your cool apps here, so yeah. Do you recommend trying out File Manager? As you can see it's a legit Android. And it shows my USB files. So these are the files I imported. All of these. So if I click here. All these files here I imported into it. So you can just quickly look at these. Just pause the video when you want to see it. The kernel is the part I had trouble with. So if I open that it won't let me open it. But otherwise these are all the files. You can copy them from the description down below if it's possible. Uh, my remix is technically your Android. See, it's Android right here. Press X there. Check your settings. As you see, settings comes up as like an OS, like Windows style. But press this button up here, and it shows all these cool little widescreen options. You get your minus plus X, and the minimize mode. Up oh, near the guest mode option. Let's see, it's super user is rooted. I like that cool effect and you can connect your Google account it's pretty cool you can see your battery life down here yeah I like it and you can check out here and see how much RAM and stuff has been used memory clean up let's try it so it cleans up your memory it's pretty cool you get your notifications here you get your date and time and of course your downloads here I just want to close that. So the way you close the app is just hold down and just scroll up and press quit app. And it'll just go back down here. You do get a little dock that you can press command for. Or you can just scroll over to it and click it. And you got all these cool apps here like the camera. Let's see what the camera looks like. You want to press allow. Press next. Hey guys, look, it's John, one of my favorite persons, people in the world. And you can see my little camera here. But otherwise, you can just scroll to the right, get the video camera. And some reason wants to ask for the microphone, but you can see you get these dots here. It's just like a regular Android. Now, you want to exit out of the app, you're like, how can I exit it? You can scroll down, scroll up, get that. Or you can just press the EC, S, A, S, A, I can't even speak, E, S, C. That means exit and just click that. And you can see it just closed the whole app in general. 
when you do get your volume controls, it's not the, really the best option because you get all these controls here. But yeah, you can change the brightness. I'm just gonna keep it in the middle. Partially middle. Okay, there we go to the middle. You're gonna drag it too. That's the good part about this computer windows. And play activator. Click that you wanna get the play store. Yes, let's activate the play store. Reset your network. Oh no! Let's try a uh, calculator. Same old calculator. Looks pretty badass to me for a calculator. Five, 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 five. Exit. Uh, let's try a uh, Play Store. Of course, Play Store won't open, but you do get Terminal in here. So if I scroll down to Terminal, and it goes to Facebook built in, so don't underestimate to make me if it doesn't work. It says you need to enable the install, so I'm not sure why it's doing that, but otherwise you can see how the OS works. Typing doesn't do anything. Spacebar doesn't do anything. Well, it does the brightness. It's weird. Okay, whatever. We'll see you guys later. This is Simon Field Shipway. Also known as Simon 36. This is Remix OS right here. And yeah, thumbs up for everybody who needs to learn how to do this. And if you want to know what Chrome OS looks like, eh, what the heck, I'll just show you very quickly. Just press the power button. Do you get these options here? Uh, shut down. It does take a while to shut down. Now that it's turned off, you just turn it back on. Take out the USB port. As you see, USB right here. Just closing the lid. Make sure you keep your disk clean. Hold on the option. Every time you boot it off a USB drive, always hold down the option on your Mac. It fixes a lot of problems. See, I didn't boot it right, so you get this error screen here. But if I hold on the power button one more time, that's just for example to show you that this hard drive is kind of busted. So hold on the option before the sound comes up, and then you'll see this instantly boots into this OS here. See? Now I press type in my password, press reboot by pressing control and then enter. And Chrome OS is booting right now. You don't see a screen, but you see it's slightly braided from the, the border. And there you go, Chrome OS. You can't tell because it's just cloud ready. That's the software I used to install it. Through the same USB. That's an 8 gigabytes. You need to and you need an 8 gigabyte hard drive. Or USB. And it's a 2.0 USB, so yeah, pretty positive towards that. Because so old Macs can support it, like an iMac. Only problem is iMacs are kind of outdated. And as you see, here's my background. It's flashing through it. Wait for it. It's a complete Chromebook, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And it saves my profile. I don't know why it has the exclamation point. It's connected to my Wi Fi. Uh, it wants me to resign in. Uh, that makes sense, but you can see it's Chromebook. It says it right there. And yeah, peace. This works. Da, 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 da. Don't forget, subscribe by clicking here. Yep, go click it. Or you can check out my latest video by clicking here. It's all up to you. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All you want to do is a thumbs up. Never do a thumbs down because that will give me a bad rating. Click that, click this, and booyah. See ya.